Hi yo, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and I have a video for you today that possibly is just a little bit on the random side but I thought it would be fun to do a video that I'm nicknaming What's in my basket? and I thought I would take you over to my Amazon basket and show you what's kind of like what I do is I put things in the basket and then like do save for later so it's kind of like a wish list so I thought I'd run down it because it's mostly crafty items so I thought it might be fun uh, you know just a bit of light-heartedness rather than a serious card video um, to have a little look and have a chat about it so let's go on over so the first thing in there is the tonic studio paper distresser now when i was doing a project just recently i had all the edges distressed and i was using actually um one of those thread cutters that you get for embroidery and tapestry and cross stitch and stuff and i just used that because uh to to distress the edges of my papers um you will hopefully if you've watched it you will have seen the video by now it was my um collaboration with kenny k which was fab fun i thoroughly enjoyed it and what i'll do is i'll put a, a little thumbnail of the video so if you haven't seen it you can have a peek at it and see what it was like because it was loads of distressing i was distressed no it wasn't it was fun i had a really good time but i was like really nervous because i wanted to do something really good for them and it actually turned out really good fun because it was just i just loved the stamps anyway i'm going off topic as usual so anyway i've put in here this distressor but this is really similar i mean it even says there a thread cutter so it's really similar to what i've got although what i've got is pretty blunt but what i really wanted was this bad boy um the distress it all the zutter distress it all and obviously for my country being in the uk i need the version three um personally anyway i would probably always recommend to go for the most latest version i know it's really tempting probably to go for the pink but even if you're in america they've probably done more updates because look it's a dual thing there so there'll be more updates to it even for the american version i'm you know if you're in america there'll be better things on it i'm sure so it's always worth going for the most up-to-date thing but anyway lecture over this is meant to be fun so i just really liked the look of this and i cannot find it here in the uk at the moment although that said i may <laughs> and this is like one of these things when it's under your nose um in my process of getting distributors to stock my shop for you guys and i look for things that i use and i look for products that i use so i'm not just randomly going around just thinking well they're a distributor i'll join for them I i'm looking for the products that i use so i found a company and i didn't actually realize that they dealt with zutter so when i went onto zutter's site just now just to check if this was the latest version or whatever and i actually found out these people just a uh, distributor for them so whether they have it in stock or not i don't know but i may well be asking so that aside this is what i was after and i just thought how cool at all is that i know i don't do masses of distressing and all that kind of thing but i actually really like it it's just the process i didn't like because i never had quite the right tool i mean originally i used to be using my scissors um you know just sort of scraping along the blade which isn't ideal if you miss and get your fingers but anyway so now going back to my list there the next thing on there is a book and i just love simon brett i love all sorts of books i'll read f everything from literally shakespeare to trashy novels to mysteries pretty much anything i'll read fantasy anything so but i really like simon brett he's a british author and he does murder mystery things sort of some more serious ones but still quite light-hearted kind of your british kind of very british i would say in the way that it's it's 
done and I just love it and I always loved his Mrs Pardita books they are very light-hearted Mrs Pardita was married but now widowed to a gentleman who we never say but because she just sort of closes her mind to this I mean obviously she really did know but she kind of pretends she doesn't he was a kind of master criminal but the old-fashioned type you know where you don't hurt people you just go around robbing them um, and doing bank jobs and all of this and when he died she inherited amongst other things including a large estate um, a little black book with all his contacts in and they all adored her husband because he was always so very good to all these people that he worked with and so in turn they adored her so when she goes and gets herself stumbling into mysteries and stuff she calls upon these people in her little black book occasionally you know to help her out and uh, they all have to pretend they're not doing anything illegal it's just really light-hearted and it's got a real fun feel to it and I just really enjoy it but they he hasn't written a Mrs Pardita book for years as far as I can tell I'd read them all several times and I don't tend to read books more than once because there's always another book that you want to read so why would you read it again I mean I make exceptions for a few things um, like Agatha Christie um, and these but and, this, and other things as well but very few and so I was really excited to see that this was coming out however I'm not prepared to pay £19 for it as a hardback so although it says available for pre-order I will be waiting and seeing if it comes out in digital format which is usually a lot cheaper or even better he usually does a audiobook which he reads himself and he's actually really really good at that so I quite often get that version and I love audiobooks so I just put it in the basket there to remind me to keep an eye out when it's launched okay so the next couple of things these are connected to this down here so if we what I put in here was what I want if I just jump down is I really want to get my Prismacolor pencils I have been doing all my marker and I love doing my colouring videos for you and I've been taking Elise's classes from Kitten Clouder and although I thought I was pretty good at colouring anyway this says me big headed but anyway I thought I did okay I have found I'm definitely learning absolutely loads I have signed up for several of the classes and I'm working my way through things and you know really enjoying it and kind of trying to master each section before I move on and for example you know I've been doing the skin I did the skin part of the hair and skin class and I kept doing the skin loads and loads until that kind of came as just second nature in the new method before I even moved on to the hair part of the teachings and I've only just started that and again I feel fairly confident in how I work already so anyway when she bought out the pencils class I was there signing up for it and I've been watching the videos and I've just been loving it and but as yet I haven't got the pencils because I really didn't know which ones I wanted to get yeah, I was torn between actually as it happened the three that Elise mentioned which was the Prismas, the Polychromos by Faber-Castell and um, the Spectrum Noir now um, obviously Spectrum Noir is here in the UK and the Polychromos um, I think are also they're certainly easily available but they're not made here I think they're German but obviously being European it's much easier and then you've got the Prismacolor which I'd been kind of hankering after for ages I just was like really all those lush colors I've wanted to use a soft pencil I've been buying small sets of different pencils trying them out and never quite getting that kind of creamy softness that I really wanted to work with to get the blends um, so but when I saw 
they, I sort of narrowed it down because I didn't really want the Spectrum Noirs and so I just for personal reason it just didn't the mix wasn't really what I wanted and also the way that they were packaged and and to get the whole set it was more fiddly and it just wasn't what I wanted to do and so I was just like really like was it the polychromos or the prisma colors but I was still kind of going back to the prismas but I sort of saw the sense of the polychromos and I was thinking you know you can keep the sharper point for longer and you know perhaps they don't there's always this, the talk of the prismas break inside and there's less chance with the polychromos da, da 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 so there was all these things going back and forth in my mind and I thought well the most sensible thing is to buy two pencils of the Faber-Castell polychromos and two of the prism colours and I bought the paper pad that was recommended by Elise in the class and then I've just been playing I mean there were some odd colours that I picked but I just wanted to try like a darker colour and then more fleshy tone and I just played with blending them even those sort of very diverse colours blending them out together now it was harder because I didn't have perhaps some of the tools that maybe I would need to help me blend out like some of the blender like stumps or whatever I don't know although I see now from Elise's videos that she doesn't quite do it like that either necessarily um, but nonetheless I'm still learning but when it came down to it I thought right no polychrome is I'll go with those that's the more sensible option I can get them easily here in the UK but I still kept coming back to this but I love prismas I've wanted them for ages and ages and I tried them again and I was just like no these are the ones I want I think if I look after them which I would do anyway then you know they're going to be fine and if they're not well so be it we'll worry about it then but I don't see that they would be so popular in the world if it was just so dreadful with the breakages and all of that so I figured well I'll take a chance so that's what I want to do so I've put the kind of uh, 132 set here I think it's 150 altogether so you've got a little gap there um, and for me the extra colours in the 150 that were missing seem to be mostly grey sort of tones so I figured well there's enough greys in there that, for what we need and I went for the 132 set just because the next set down really for the kind of colouring I did just didn't have as many flesh tones and things which is sort of kind of mostly what I'm doing at this point in time so you know they say go for the, the biggest amount that you can afford well I'm hoping not to afford it at all because my birthday is on the 12th of June so I'm hoping like fingers crossed that uh, you know that might be something that you know having emailed to my mum and my dad several times that they might get the hint but then I've emailed them several things I tend to do that you know oh well I quite like that and I quite like that but by doing that that gives them some choices and some ideas and quite often they come up with brilliant ideas all of their own but anyway so that's what that's in there for and I quite like the idea of this little gap anyway because that means if I do get blender pencils etc then I can pop them in there they can all stay in the case and you know it'll all be hunky-dory and snug as a bug in a rug and look at all those beautiful colours I just keep going back to look at them so I've just and I'm desperate to get them because I've now signed up for Elise's monthly classes OMG I've just been working already on the marker class because I get I signed up for the marker class and the pencil class and basically what happens is you get one kind of project with a technique of some whatever the technique is of that month will be incorporated in that project and you can do as I say there's a marker one and a pencil one you can do one or other or both but you get a much bigger disc you get a big discount for doing the two combined and uh, there's no like back orders so if you miss it you miss it so if you want to get the first one just as an aside I'll put the link 
at the bottom because I'm going to put the bottom of the post. I'm going to put all these products linked just in case you like what you see in my basket. And I'll also link in Elise's class for you um, for this one that I'm talking about now because it is really fab and even if you're not doing her other classes you can still do this I mean yeah it's gonna be even better and more helpful if you are doing some of the other classes but it isn't necessary because she does explain things so that you can do the, the project that you're being given at that time and uh, as I say yeah I went diving straight in um, to start the project for the marker class and it's just fab but anyway that's another reason why I want to get these pencils and obviously these items are all sort of part of that and these really have come from things that I've seen Elise using and so therefore it kind of makes me confident that they are going to work well for those pencils so that's what we've got there and this one actually was just an alternative to the electric one there i just put both um pencil sharpeners in um and obviously we've got the electric battery operated eraser now the reason i like the look of that was that it had a, a very fine point so you could just get a very detailed sort of erase out of it but then you've also got this kneadable eraser from Faber Castell which I thought looked really cool as well and what I don't see but um should be here I've got my Prismacolor marker clear blender but you can use that to blend your pencils but there is also which they're up here look the blenders for the prism of the colorless blender there and um, that should be in this basket as well so that's kind of all connected to me wanting to get these pencils basically so i'm super excited and really kind of keen to try and get that sorted out but anyway moving on the next item in my little uh basket here is a book on green smoothies i've uh, got a smoothie maker and i I'm just getting really keen on all different recipes for making smoothies so I thought it would be fun to get some recipes on a green smoothie. Now I tend to get all these on digital so that I can just have them on my iPad and then you know I can just take the iPad into the room if I need to or um, put the re on even if like I'm going up the road I can have to get any like a uh, the fruit and veg that's for the recipe I can have that on my iPhone because I can open it on the Kindle app on my iPhone and literally just run down the list there and then so that makes it really simple but um, I just uh, I'm not very good at just well I, I can just throw things in but if it involves something a little bit more specific like for really healthy things like these green smoothies I need some help because I don't know kind of how it tastes and I just think you need to hide some of the vegetables that are good for you because they don't taste all that good for you do they it's always the way if only they could make a donut that was healthy or a bar of chocolate that made you slim but anyway um so that's that one and then I think yeah the last item on here is some Bose sound true around ear earphones or headphones and obviously i love the mint you if you've seen my website you'll know i love that color so that obviously is an appeal but that wasn't the reason i didn't at the time when i looked at this i went in and it, i think it was on black or something this one and i didn't even know it came in different colors I hadn't a clue but i listen to music and obviously as i said audiobooks literally all the time and i'm constant like every night I will have earphones on and go to sleep with my um, iPod plugged in and music playing or my talking book on and that that can be played out loud but it would be better I guess if it was on some earphones and I it, I've just kind of was thinking for a long time I would be so cool to have some earphones that really played the music particularly and all the different levels and you know 
hearing the bass and all the different levels right up and hearing all that and to get a really good quality earphone um obviously bose i don't think you can go wrong with with their quality so i popped that in my sort of wish list i guess um on amazon so that is my take a peek in the basket or whatever the heck i decided to call it at the beginning of this video so i hope you've had a just a bit of fun having a look in the basket on my amazon i will as i say pop the details of these products just in case you're interested in any of them yourselves um at the bottom of the blog post that goes with this video plus i will link in the video as i say for the uh, kenny k project that i referenced and also details of the uh, kit and clouder classes for you okay so i hope you have enjoyed this sort of random look in the basket i started off with something kind of a little bit more sort of itsy bitsy with the amazon one but if you have enjoyed it i also have a basket that i would love to share with you if you would like to from simon says stamp and obviously that is entirely crafty so let me know let's have some comments and tell me what you think um either at the bottom of the video here or send me a message privately or whatever you'd prefer or maybe just give this video a good old thumbs up and that'll let me know all right thank you so much for watching and i will see you again next time bye for now